In this video, I will be showing you how to find the domain and range of a function using a graph. So just a quick recap, domain and range represent the set of all the inputs and outputs respectively for which a function is defined. That is, the domain represents the set of all inputs and the range represents the set of all outputs. Now, one thing that we should note is that while we can write functions in this form, for example, f of x equals to x plus 2, we can also write them in a more familiar form, which is y is equal to x plus 2. And the only difference between these two is that we're taking y as the output instead of f of x. So in this case, x represents the inputs and y represents the outputs. So we can guess that the domain is all of the possible values of x and the range represents all of the possible values of y. Let's look at a visual or graphical representation of this. So over here we're asked to find the domain and the range of the graph below. So as I mentioned earlier, the domain of the graph would be all of the possible values of x. So looking at the graph we can tell that the values of x run between 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x must be between negative 5 and 4. Now to find the domain we need to look at all of the possible values of y. So looking at this graph we can tell that y can be anything between 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative 1, 2 or the range of the function negative 2 is less than or equal to y which is less than or equal to Oops, one, two, three, four, forgot that. And this is our domain. And here we have our range. That is it for this video.